to license it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't cancel me. Podcast episode nine. Mm. Oh God! Double figures. We're almost in double figures. Episode nine. Yeah, um, man. Yeah, lockdown edition. It's me, Jay Urban. Yeah, it's me, Big Gem. It's me, C Prems. Yes, that hat is off. You see the hair the first time. <laughs> Just get cane rolls and call it a day, man. Bye. Bye, man. How's the last two weeks been, actually? Calm, oh, man. You know what? I'm, I, I like this lockdown thing. I can't even lie. It's still it's all right, man, you know. You know, it is what it is, you know. We, we sound like I hope they, cool. they extend it for another three weeks. You're enjoying it, man. What have you been enjoying about it, bro? The sleep. <laughs> the peace. <laughs> nah, do you know what it is? It's, it's just... Obviously, at first when we went into lockdown, everyone was all, I would say panicking and, you know, then it got extended. But, you know, it's, it's become a norm now. You know, you know what it is? It's, when I, when I deep, this lockdown is no different to how actually I really live. I'm always, I'm in my house. I just like, go out on a week, on a weekend. You know, I'm still working, but obviously working from home. Mm. But um, it's just one of those ones where, like, you, you know, it's how you quicker how quickly you uh, adjust to things and I've adjusted to it. it is what it is you know you get on with it it's now the question is how is everyone going to react when we come out of this thing so yeah I mean, it's calm tough, man you know obviously the only thing I'm missing is my barber fam that's it yeah we can see we can see yeah <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, but even that even the barber thing man have to let their hairline just be easy for a minute you know car doing it all the time <laughs> yeah. Look it's going to recede eventually. <laughs> you got, you got to allow it. Yeah. So, God, the lockdown thing's easy. Let's be, let's be fair. Yeah. Who it's hard for is, you know, people that didn't invest in their house. They spent all their time on road, buying <laughs> clothes and all that. You see those who did not invest in their house? Now they're pissed. Nothing in their yard to keep them just quiet and cool and sane. Mm. That's it. True still. You know them ones there, man's got his 16-inch TV and he's just struggling now. Like, he can't even enjoy a good movie. By watching everything off your phone and that. That's when... Oh, and that. Oh, that's all long still. That's boy, you know, and... Boy, actually, I know it. Let me keep my comments to myself. Anyway, what's the next topic? Mm. Um, <laughs> topic is uh, a sticky one. Oh, it's a sticky... Hold on, before we get into that, didn't you like, watch the... Um, the the chipmunk um into your link up. What the documentary thing? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta catch it. Yeah. yeah, it's back up again. I think it's back I, up. It's back yeah. up. I watched it on YouTube though. It was on YouTube. Is it any good? Yeah. It's it's worth a watch still. Okay. It's, it's it's insightful. Would you look think about chip not being well not being happy well getting it taken down or whatever? No one knows the reason in it, so it's kinda hard to have an opinion on it. Yeah. But I from watching it, I don't think that, there was no there was nothing in there was no injustice against, done against Chip. It was just letting you know the type of person Chip is, isn't it? Mm. And like it, it, when you when you watch it, it just lets you know that Chip ain't backing down from no one. Mm. Regardless, yeah. you know he's he's going in toe for toe with you. You know even when now when you look at the Bugsy Malone thing and you know this he took five months off and he came back, you now look at it differently now because he came back and he came up with a hat trick of tracks. So. You just look at, you look at, if you had a perception of Chip before, it's very different now. Like, you got to, you got to rate his, his pen game. Is some you, point. Do you think he was well within his rights though to get it taken down? No. Mm, yes. Why not? I don't think he's within his rights because at the end of the day, you've put this out into the public domain, isn't it? Mm. So now your songs are public property. They weren't using your songs because it's like there's, there's this thing called like fair fair use policy or something like that. Mm. So mm-hmm. man used your music along with other people's music that were involved in it to document something that went on. That's one. Number two, a lot of these songs went through Link Up TV to be promoted in the first place. Mm-hmm. So, what, so all people have done is gone back and discussed something that was already it, out there in the open. Because I'm pretty sure that he went when that whole this thing was coming out. I'm pretty sure he wasn't doing it through them because um, 
Bugsy and all them were doing it through them. So he, yeah, no, no, he, 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 no, no, he put, he put, he put, he put videos out through Link Up. He done, I think, through Link Up, SB and Grime Daily. He did that. Yeah. I, I, the reason why I say he, the reason why I say he has a right is because. I just look at it as anything that contains me in it. If I haven't been consulted or, yeah. you know, I ain't seen the last final piece for it to go out, like, I, well, if I've got management and I've got power, I'm going to get it taken down because I need to see what it's about first before you put it out there because there might be something in there, there might be something in there that, that I might not like. Mm. I'm with you. So I wouldn't have taken it down. I think Link Up should have been what? properly still and because apparently his management asked you to see it and they de- just declined, like... Okay, yeah, cool. don't put it up then. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically, that's what it is. You know, I'm putting my hat on still. Yeah, yeah, I think he was well within his rights to do that still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think, think any, I think it's petty though because it went back had, up within had, 24 they hours. Had like that before though, when Link put up something where they shouldn't apparently they shouldn't have put something was using stuff and they shouldn't have been using. So, they finished that like before. So, I think for them to do it again is a bit, it's a bit I think we, we, we got look, you got to look at it from a standpoint. Anything that Anything that's get anything that gets filmed, whether I was in a beef or a battle or whatever it is, as long as if it's containing me and I ask to see it before you pull it up and you refuse to, if I've got the powers to get it taken down, I'm gonna get it taken down in it because it's about it's also about level of respect in it. Not saying link up disrespected him or anything like that, but principle, it's isn't it? also about Yeah, it's principle, man. It's level of respect, man. So for me, it's just one of those ones where yeah, man, you know, man was I mean, it just shows the power of the artist, bro. Power, man. Power. Who's been, who's been, who's been watching? Have any of you not watched that movie on Netflix called All Day, All Night? Nah. I saw, I saw the advert of it. Is it any good? It's, 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 it's all right movie, man. It's, it's all right, man. That's the good two hour movie in that. You get me? You know? Yo, switch on your camera, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it went off, man. Do you know what it is? Go it's going to allow calls, because we're on Zoom, it's going to make calls come through. You look on your laptops, isn't it? Yep. Mm. I'm on my phone, shit. Uh, yeah, and that, and that Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan documentary. Yeah, sick lucky. Sick hey, watch that. Watch it, Jordan. Nah, nah. Oh. Real, real inspirational, man. Real, real. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll look into it. Maybe later. It's not like we've got anything to do, so, you know, yeah, might as well. Check it out. Yeah. It's good, it's good. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But what are we saying? Topic this week. Um, obviously, we saw those tweets that came out. I think, it was, was it last week or the week before? I think it was last week. Mm. Tweets came up about certain influences and certain celebrities and certain things they had to say about black women. Um, and obviously there was a lot of calls for a lot of them to be cancelled. So we're going to touch on two things, really. That whole cancel culture, as we are, please don't cancel me. We're going to talk about that whole cancel uh-huh. culture. And colorism as well. So let's start, I think, with the whole cancel culture thing. Like, mm-hmm. do you think it's reasonable for people to be cancelled for their past actions? No. no. So does it does it does it does that depend on what it is though? Um, yes, it depends on the yes. severity of what it is, and mm. it depends on. Yeah, to be fair, it really depends on the severity of what it is because, um, in this aspect, it's I personally think it's stupid. Mm. Like they're bringing up tweets from ten years ago. A lot of these people are not the same there, people who they were. Yeah, they weren't influencers ten years ago. They were just normal yeah. people that were using Twitter. Cause I swear, Twitter came about in like oh nine. Yeah. Or something. So these are just normal people that were releasing tweets. And let's be fair, at that time, not to say it's acceptable what they were saying, but it was, you have to look at the, the period of time. It was the culture. Everyone was saying reckless things at that time, in it? Mm-hmm. It just so happens that these people have now progressed into, into, become, into somebody. You understand? Mm-hmm. Because they're not bringing up your tweets or my tweets or the average Joe on the road. They're bringing up people of relevance. Yeah. So it doesn't make any sense holding someone accountable 10 years ago. Because if you're 30 now, you were 20 years old when you wrote this. Mm. They're not giving room for evolution. They're not giving room for immaturity Bro. or mistakes. Yeah, they're not giving any room for that. They're saying, yeah. well, you said it, so that's who you are. It doesn't make sense. And this is coming from the same people that if you brought up negative aspects of their life, 
they would tell you, well, it was based upon that time or and you got, where their you mindset got was. You gotta look at they're not the same people. They're not you're not the, you're not the same person that you are ten years ago. I am definitely not the same. I am not the ten year old kid I was in two thousand and ten. Mm-hmm. When I'm not that person. I'm completely different. I've changed. I've evolved. I I now understand things a bit more clear. I've matured. So these these people that you know, yes, what they said is what they what they said. It's it's wrong, and I'm not I'm not disputing that they're right for what they say, but. What we have to understand is we can't counsel them for something they said 10 years ago. They're a different person. If if what they said 10 years ago and they still stand by it now, then, oh, we've got a big problem. Mm. We've got a big problem. But clearly these people are not the same people that they were 10 years ago. So this whole, oh, we have to counsel them. And I don't I don't agree with all that bullshit. But I think oh, we're that, too sensitive, fam. Let's be fair. Some yeah. of the shit was funny, isn't it? Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh. But some shit is genuinely funny, offensive or not. It's, but it, it, it's funny. funny. It would have been funny to you back then, but would it be funny to you now? But some some offensive jokes. Let's be fair. Some offensive jokes. They were inappropriate when they came out. They're still inappropriate now. But sometimes funny is just funny. Like, yeah. <clears throat> the, like there, there, there was a there was a there was a joke, and I think we spoke about this the other day, Jeremy. Like, had said now in a room full of people, and if it was banner, you probably would still laugh at that same joke. Like, okay, there was the tweet about person a girl with a black girl with blonde hair looking like a guinness bottle now i'll be i don't know i'm gonna be real if that's in a room full of people that know each other let's say we had a vision that looked like that probably everyone will start laughing because we're around each other we mm. know each other it's not we're not being racist or we're not being prejudiced it's just a joke mm. obviously when said but when said on a platform like twitter and there's there's, there's so many views of different opinion it come across, oh, you're racist, or you know, you don't like dark skinned women, and da, 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 da. now I'm gonna leave it there. I just obviously because now we're unfortunately I've kind of now gone into the next subject. But Jem, you said something to that subject when I said that the other day. What did you say? Is we can't blame the person that makes the jokes if the person that themselves are not happy with themselves and they're trying to make their hair look like a white person. Oh. Uh. But then, yeah, I think there's a thing though, like, for me, I know that I can say certain things between us, and mm, we will yeah. it as a joke, but I know if I was to say, put it on my Instagram page, that there's going to be a bunch of people that's not going to like what I've said, and I have to take that and accept the fact that there's going to be people that's going to come at me for what I've said, isn't it? So at the same but time, I think, I think, mm, I sorry. think people, like, they have to, I think, I don't agree with the whole cancelling thing, I agree with you on that, but I feel like it's about accountability as well. Um, I feel like if you can put your hands up and say, you know what? Yeah, in hindsight, that's probably not bad. I was young, I apologize. But there's a lot of guys who try to like find excuses and dodge it and like, oh, Do you God. know what it is? Do you know what it is, yeah? We gotta we got be real. We live in a very sensitive world now. Anything that you may say may come across rude, negative. So the world is very sensitive to a lot of things. Hmm. Trying to find, trying to justify it is long. And if you remember the Kevin Hart documentary that he did when he got called out for the, the gay remarks, what people were trying to explain to him was, you're, you're still trying to justify it. Whereas just take accountability for what you said and apologise for what you said, which for a long period of time he refused to do. I'm not going to lie to you. I understood why he refused to apologise because that is, his, that is his own point of view. It was a joke, you know, but let's be real in, the, in our community you know, in our black world in the black community world there's some people that actually think like that yeah I just think I just think that the world is, that the world that we're living in now is just too sensitive and it's to be honest like 95% of things that we do say are going to come across mad do you hmm. get me if, we, if they are said if we get full up on it you got to take accountability for what you said in it but you know what, there's, what, there's a difference between if like if if you say something as a comedian, I think it's slightly different as well because I feel like you're not going to apologize for telling a joke. It was a joke, but I think you can apologize to say you know if I offended you, sorry, but I said what I said type of thing in it. It was a joke, <clears throat> but that's not enough. But that's what it is. That's not enough because even comedians are still even comedians have said now we live in a world where we can't tell. So jokes. For me, when it comes to comedians, I think it's a bit unfair because that's they're supposed to tell jokes. When you go back even further than them, when you go to the Eddies and the Richard Pryors, they were saying these jokes normally, and people 
who were gay would laugh at, would laugh with them. <coughs> it was nothing. But now all of a sudden, I don't know. It's just got. Yeah, we, we, we live in a sen- we live in, we live in a very sensitive world, man, where everything is quick to censor, man. So it's hard, but, man. It is. But can you be cancelled though? Yeah, if people want you cancelled, yeah. cancelled. No, 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 no. I believe you're only cancelled if you accept you're cancelled. If you just carry on about your normal life, it kind of disappears. Yeah, you can. Uh, in your life, but if people really want to cancel you and drop you out, they will drop you out. So if you rely honest, on the, the R. Kelly's, R. Kelly's music is still being played, isn't it? So let's be fair. It will be. Yeah, but that, that's that's a yeah. that's a profit for Spotify. Yeah. That's a, that's a profit for Spotify and iTunes. But in terms of like when you look at restaurants, radios, they cancelled him. You look at no concert would do, no 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 arena would take an R. Kelly show even if he comes out of jail. Mm. Do you understand? What I'm saying yeah. he's he's. He's taking L's. He's, he's taking he's L's. He's taking L's. You know? But what I'm trying to say to you is this whole, this whole thing about cancelling somebody. As you said, Jay, you can apologize, isn't it? Yeah. But it seems like an apology is not enough because <clears throat> if you if you say to someone, I don't apologize for what I said because at the end of the day, at that period in time, that's how I genuinely felt. However, I apologize that you're offended by it. A lot of people won't take that as an apology. Mm. No, they won't. They won't. They, remember, they want you to. I am not apologizing for what I said because at that period of time, whether it was right or wrong, I genuinely felt that way. So why should I apologize for my truth? You're offended by it, but it's my truth. It's mm. no longer my truth. So I'm a, I'm sorry that you have now gone back, dug it up, and are offended by something that wasn't immediately in your face. Mm. But I'm not going to apologize. Because if I never made those mistakes or made those tweets or whatever the case may be, I may or may not have be the person I am today if I didn't have that mindset then. You understand? Yeah. I might not have evolved they, into this person. They, they ain't accepting that. They ain't accepting that. You, that's, your that's apology, your apology has to be fully as I was wrong to say that. I, you know, I was immature. I've grown up now. I realized I was the wrong thing to say, and I'm truly not that person this today. If you come out and say that's my mindset then and uh, that's how I genuinely felt, they're just, well, you know, that was, people that need to say it with their chest, man. Oh, I, feel like, yeah, I feel like you can merge the two effectively. I feel like I feel like you can hold up your hand and say, Look, that was me back then. And I said what I said. That was me. This is me now, isn't it? Cool. Obviously, now I don't think the same way I did back then. But you have to understand that where that came from. It came from a place where I was maybe immature. I was maybe ignorant. I maybe didn't not know. I wasn't educated in the right ways about certain things. So if you can't understand that and accept that, that then becomes your issue, not mine. Because I've apologized. I've told you that it came from a certain place, and I've told you that I am not that person anymore. If they can't accept that, then it's just well, that's on you. That's not on me, type of thing now. But what's funny is, it's like, all right, there's a, it's, it's mostly women that have brought up these tweets of colorism because it's against, like, dark-skinned women, isn't it? Cool. Mm-hmm. So I understand why they are the demographic that's offended. But that is something that happened 10 years ago. And if you brought up something from a woman's past that was 10 years ago, they would tell you that, that's of no relevance to the person they are today. So if you brought up who they were with 10 years ago or a group of friends they had 10 years ago or if they had sex with 10 men in the space of a week 10 years ago, yeah. they would tell you that it has nothing to do with anything today because they're no longer that person. It was a matter of immaturity, yada, 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 yada. So why is it now when it suits them 10 years ago is okay to bring up, but when it's against them, it's not. I'm not saying the two are comparative because mm. I understand that my tweets were put out into the public realm. I'm not saying that and your sex life is private. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying this. <clears throat> the period of time to say, I made the decisions to do these things in this mindset, but I wouldn't do it today because that was 10 years ago. I am not the same person. So mm. why am I being judged based upon the actions of 10 years? But if you met someone and they were the same now as they were five years ago, you'd look at them a bit funny. You mm. understand? Let alone think, the start uh, of the decade when mm-hmm. everyone was relatively a no one. Most people that are I family think, today mm. is nobody ten years ago. Mm. I think I, I think the answer to your 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 point there is you're you're, you're solely right on what you're saying. 
the only difference is, is because colorism is such a big agenda within the how am I gonna put this in the media as in the social world right now? Mm-hmm. That's why it's more of a bigger issue because there are quote unquote celebrities that are displaying colorism because they don't have black enough black girls in their music videos. Celebrities are dating white girls because they don't go for black girls. You're getting a lot of that that's going on. So when you get these tweets that resurface, we're not talking about your past. We're talking about your preference. So you know. You're, you're getting artists called out for dating white girls, you're getting all of this and then then these tweets surface and it's like, oh, well, see, yeah, you don't like black girls or da, 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 you're prejudiced, oh, this and that and all that, all, all that la di da di da And there is colorism out there. I'm not going to sit here and deny it that it is out there. I just sometimes feel it's very unfair on the black artists that get attacked for it, get attacked for it. That, for instance, if I'm correct, Dave put up a white girl, which... Was his girlfriend or his what friend. and what so? <laughs> and he got he got he got murdered for it. Mm. He got murdered for it, and I'm just like, like, yo, if if a, if a, if a man want to date a white girl, want to date a white girl, you, you know, know who are we to come stop pull out pull out the race card and say, yo, ah, oh, colorism, man. That's why all these black all these black artists date white girls because they they're inferior of the. Black female power and all that, all of that jazz, man. Like, I ain't. So, I don't. I don't know. But me, I ain't with it. I ain't with it. It is what it is. You get me? You know. You know. What I didn't like. I ain't with situation it. Situation is that. Um, okay, cool. You're upset that let's say that was his girlfriend and he has a white girlfriend, but they never have the same energy when when it's flipped. So when, when it's a white yeah, woman with a black know, man comes out with her white husband you get the oh yeah. they're so cute oh you get all of that stuff when the girl that's from what's she from um what is she in she's in um queen and slim you know the black girl in queen and slim yeah yeah she's married to the donny that was in dawson's creek innit the white donny in dawson's creek married to him had, had, had a baby for him maybe i said i said they had a baby recently innit she posts a picture and everyone's just like oh they're so cute like i hate the fact that cool you've got that energy for dave where's your energy now for Serena Williams, yeah. energy now for this young lady. Like, I'm not saying that they should have that same, but you can't be mad at Dave for having a white girlfriend and then be giving the next one love struck eyes because it's a woman with a white man. Like, I've always thought, what? When it's a yeah, black man, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that all black men do it and they're doing it from, you know, that they love black women and they just happen to be with a white girl. There are some that are pricks and they proper bash black women and they're with white women or with light skinned women. There are some. Yeah. But if there's no indication that this guy is that type of person, so Dave is never, from what I know, he's never said anything ill-mannered about black women. He was on uh-uh. board on the, what was, what was the award show? Brits, I think Brits it was. Award, probably a couple of weeks before that, doing up all that black power stuff. And a lot of people were saying that's why they were so angry with him, because he was done the black power stuff, but then he's got a white girlfriend. But, yeah, but man your, has girl doesn't, your girl doesn't change your political views, though. Even, but for me, he done one song. One song that doesn't make him this black power guy. He did one song. He's not going around being a Doctor Umar or you get me. He's <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm just about to bring up Umar, you know. <laughs> like, you get me. He done one song. <laughs> I like I'm talking it. about I mean, experiences yeah. as a black man, and then all of a sudden now he's been labelled with this black power, black power label. But he even, like, even, oh. even, even notes got it. He got it. I swear they, they were getting onto notes because that uh, before he was dating that like, girl. What's her name? Mabel or something like that. Mm. Like, hey. Like, for me, it's this, in it? Like, look, I look at it as love is love, innit, fam? If you, if you, if you, if you fall in love with a, a girl of opposite skin tone to you, it is what it is, fam, at the end of the day. No one's here to, to get onto that person for, for whatever type of reason it is. But I just don't like when the artist or those that are in that social world, because he's black, he has to necessarily be with a black woman. I, I don't like that that whole aspect of things, innit? Do you understand what I'm saying, innit? Like, you, it's, a, it's a free world. You're free to date who you want to date. If a man want to date an oriental girl, he date an oriental girl. If a man want to date an Indian girl, he date an Indian girl. If a man want to date a, a dark-skinned girl or a brown-skinned girl, oh, fuck, I just kept that. A black girl, it is what it is. If a man wants to date a white girl, from a Polish descent or whatever, it is what it is, man. Yeah. I just think we need to, we need to stop crucifying 
the artists for the type of women they choose. You get me? Now, if we want to get into their music videos, okay, we always go, why is there never a leading black girl in these artists' music videos? Let's spin this back to the 90s when the Americans were doing music videos. There was a lot of dark skin, brown skin girls that were lead ladies in American artists' videos. If you go back to when the video fixing days, majority of these girls were that, you know, of our skin complexion. So why is it all of a sudden now that would you say there was as I, I, there were, but I wouldn't say there was there was a level playing field from what I saw. It's never going to be a level play, <clears throat> a level playing field. But let's be very honest about this. <clears throat> They're getting onto light skin, dark skin. Yeah, your skin tone doesn't negate your blackness. What if I was just born like both of my parents are black mm-hmm. people and my mm-hmm. complexion is darker? They're not. They they're just they're picking on the tone of someone's skin. Yeah, Do you understand? Yeah. I don't think mm. I don't think that's what people are angry at. People are. I think what it is is that whether we want to admit it or not, the lighter your skin is, the more privilege you have. That's just fact. It just happens. Yeah. In turn, some people with a darker skin tone, because of that, do end up um, having some sort of hatred towards people that are lighter skin. But that's understandable. It's, it's psychological, isn't it? That's been instilled in us from the slave. Long time. Yeah. 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 But I don't think it's the fact that they're angry or upset that, oh, you're light-skinned and I hate you because you're light-skinned. I think it's a lot of the time as well, I think some light-skinned people, I won't say all, don't even understand the privilege that they have and they sometimes act, what's the word, naive that you are light-skinned so you will have a better chance than, say, Abby, who's dark But it comes across as an attack because <clears throat> if you are naive, hypothetically, and this is me just playing devil's advocate for a moment, if you are naive to it you have no choice in it so if people are saying well you're you're in a better position because you're light-skinned remember you're born this way it's not like you chose to be light-skinned you understand what i'm saying Hmm. so to feel the same way being dark-skinned it's not fair to feel persecuted in any way shape or form because of your skin tone to be light-skinned and feel like you're being attacked based upon a decision that has nothing to do with you is not fair either do you understand what i'm saying yeah of course Because you don't remember there was a stage where if you weren't as a man, if you weren't light skinned or had funny color eyes or whatever the case may be, girls didn't like you. Yeah, they were checking for you. So we don't we don't pay attention to that. Now women out on this, oh my dark skinned kings and bearded this and all of this, they're embracing um the rest of the masculinity. Very, very recent. Exactly. Now they're embracing it, but there was a stage where that wasn't the case, but no one highlights that. We mm. highlight the fact that... If you, if, you, if, if, if you weren't light, you weren't right back in the day. It's preference. What a lot of women as well fail to understand as well and realise as well that there are a lot of damaged, dark-skinned black youths out there that back in the day in school, they were bullied and called all these, being called blick and being... Get me, they didn't get no girl. The girl was like, nah, I don't want you. I want you too dark. A lot of men, a man got like mentally fucked from that. And that's probably now why you see some of them have preferences for girls that are like, because they've grown such a hatred for the girl that looks like them doesn't even want me. So fuck them type of yeah. thing. Because she wanted the light skin you with yeah. straight hair and, and hazel them. eyes. Yeah, but you look like me. You're the same as me, but yet you don't want me neither. Like, fuck you then. I'll go to But then the thing is, the yeah. thing is, but then the thing is, the men, the men. I like that. Yeah, but then there's the thing is that the men get the men get crucified because they're not dating girls that are of a light skin tone. They're not dating well, their well, Nubian so sisters means, and all that. It does, stuff. It does come from a self hatred um, um, place, but I think as well that what women need to understand, and even men is because some women um, have issues as well. But they need to understand that the part that they played in that as well, and hold their hands up and say, "All right, cool. I may have played a part in this because let's get it twisted." A lot of these girls that are crying now, crying today, like you said, 15 years ago, they did not like dark skinned guys. They did uh, not, all the things that they hate about what dark skinned guys are doing now, they were that person. They did not like dark skinned guys. As much as they want to try and say, no, I've always liked dark skinned guys, lies, lies. There's, there, there's probably a couple of girls that can hold their hand up and say, yeah, I've always liked them. But let's get real. The majority. Why, why only- is preference not okay, though? This is the thing. I've always wondered why is somebody's preference? an issue as long as i am not coming out to um disrespect one 
in, in favor of the other, why is my preference an issue? Because if you went to a woman and she said, Ra, you're too short, for example, that's her preference. No mm. one wouldn't say a word. Mm. You understand? There's a lot of short men in this world and there's a lot of short man jokes. Yeah. No one highlights that because it's a preference. Mm. Uh, you I understand? Think that when it comes to, like, skin, I get what you're saying, but when it comes to your skin tone, I think there's, there's a lot, there has been a lot. There's a history to it. Oh, but yeah. what I'm trying to say to you, there's a lot of people who are now jumping on a bandwagon, right? Mm. They don't actually feel the way that they are portraying they feel. Do you understand? Mm. Because they, as we were just saying, they were some of the people who were perpetrating this light skin guy thing. Mm. Oh, they want the guy that looks a certain way or the one that looks a little bit cooly, looks like genuine, la, 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 la. <laughs> they, they, were, they were the ones that were feed yeah. into that at one stage. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say to you is, maybe, this, obviously this was the before Twitter days, I understand. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, it is still part of the bigger picture, if we want to look at it as yeah. a whole, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, you are yeah, right yeah, yeah. In, in regards to saying that, like, I understand it comes from slavery, and but we all got to be held accountable. We mm -hmm. all have to. Because let's be fair, you want there's a lot of women out there that want us to accept them for them and want us to be happy with them and, you know, lift them up on a pedestal. And that's where they should be. I understand mm. that. Mm. But then when you go into the fact of you wear foundation that makes you light or you wear blonde wigs, you do all of these things, you're not even happy with you. Mm. You're not embracing you in your truth. They understand. Mm. But yet you want somebody to like feed into you do you understand what I'm saying to you you don't love yourself but you want me to love you mm. when love starts from within first do you understand where I'm coming from because as you said there's a lot of dark skinned men out here that they they're scarred mentally they may not even realise it yeah they may not even realise that they are but they're scarred mentally because you spent the better part of your youth trying to talk to girls that weren't giving you no time yeah none and then when you find the demographic that is paying you mind. Now you're persecuted for choosing that. <laughs> oh, like it, it doesn't make any sense. It's like you can't win. Mm. Uh, I just believe unless you're disrespecting somebody, you should be allowed to do what the hell you want. If I was disrespecting but, a set of women and then I went to the other side, for example, then by all means you can say, brother, what's wrong with you? Like, mm. But even that, you can therefore see there must be a level of self-hate. If I'm disrespecting everyone that looks just yeah. like me, but I'm going to someone who looks nothing like me. There's 100%. something wrong with me. But instead of trying to help each other these days, all we're You're doing is each tearing, each other, exactly, tearing each other down. It what? doesn't make any sense. Well, don't you think, obviously, when you look at yourself and you look at yourself in the mirror, yeah? Mm -hmm. Your preference is something that's totally opposite to you. Does that, does that not mean that you maybe have an issue with yourself as well? Um... <laughs> No. So, that's what, no, no, no. But even if you do have an issue with yourself, that's still something to do with mental. Do you understand what mm. I'm saying? That still may not be a decision that I consciously made, if that makes there's, sense. There's something within you that is broken. Be addressed. <laughs> yeah. But I think, but, I, I personally think, if, if I am attracted or my preference, because obviously you can be attracted to white, black, China, you can be attracted to anything kind of thing, isn't it? But, mm. Yeah, my preference is say something that's totally opposite to what you are. I just think, raw like, um, but what if your preference is based upon you your grew, geographics? That's what I'm gonna say, especially if you've grown up, say, like, say, like, we've grown up in the ends, isn't it? Mm. We've grown up around people who look like us. So, if one day, yeah, I was like, yeah my preference is somebody, from, guess. someone from Essex with blonde hair and blue eyes that I've I'll be like, you'd look at, I'll look at him and like, whoa, like. But then I mean, I'd you never know. It, 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 it could be man that count, man could have had an encounter with one of those when he was young and he likes it. And that's his preference, isn't it? But it could be what you watch on the TV. It could yeah. be now all you watch is but, the only way is Essex and Love Island. But then all yeah, of that, you like that lifestyle. All of that kind of feeds into this the representation on the TV and in the media. There's not enough of it. Well, a lot of people are like brainwashed and seeing that that is the standard of beauty. See, I got a bedroom that that's dating again from Essex, and you know 
he some when he's around them, you know, yeah, a bit of a lads lad. But then when he's around the man, them he's like he loves the end. So I won't say yeah. it's. What, would he? Would his preference be that type of woman though? I think I think now yeah it would be I think he likes his preference um, like maybe it's a dominant thing it makes him feel you know actually let me not say that's a bit rude hey, but, man. Um, that one bro I think I think <laughs> some, I know, I think sometimes say that. people people don't understand that they're being uh, what's the word um, fetishized or whatever it's called uh-huh. Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of a lot of black guys don't realize the fact realize. that the reason why for example these white ladies are onto you like they're yeah. more onto you they will let you to get away with murder yeah. and be more yeah. because you are a fetish you are almost like forbidden fruit you understand yeah so it's all about it is, is that's what it comes remember to. if you feel, if you of feel insecure, yeah but if you feel insecure within yourself and then there's somebody that's giving you mm-hmm. over the top attention mm-hmm. like mad attention even then, if that wasn't okay. even if that wasn't your key demographic to begin with Something in you is going to latch onto not their physicality, but the attention, the way they make you feel. But, 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 but you no, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say he would never date a black girl. I believe he would, but I just think he's just because of that experience that he has with white girls over the over the years. He would more, you know. Yeah, but that's what he would prefer. Remember, a preference is not yeah. saying you wouldn't, but yeah. he would prefer because remember, if if to a, if to a black woman. A black man is normality, mm-hmm. yeah? Yes. There's going to be... Unless she finds you outlandishly attractive, you're just going to get treated like normal. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nothing special. But, but then, then when you encounter then you got... these set of people mm-hmm. that are treating you like... Rah, not, not to say they're touching you like you're in a zoo, but you're getting mad but then, attention. But you then walk you, in this group, you, you're the you man. Got but then you got white guys out there that will never that have, will never date a white girl. They would just only date right, black girls. All right, what I'm trying is, to say is, that, is, is but there, that's what I'm is, saying. Is there, is there, is there, is that, that could be a fetish too. It could be a fetish because what I'm trying to say to you is there is your preference, and there is a thing where it's almost like I am not meant to be doing this. So that's what makes it so. So much more so appealing. so so so. Are we saying having a preference possibly means there could be something psychologically wrong with you? Um, I know it's where the preference come from. The reason yeah. your preference okay. is your preference. Because okay. okay. yeah. like I so, said, if you look in the mirror and you look at yourself and then, but your preference is something totally opposite to you, uh-huh. where has that preference come from? So what, 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 if, what if a man said, um, you know, my preference has come to, due, come, my preference has come for due to interaction with both and I kind of prefer the, the other side. Do yeah, we say never that's no, but it's nevertheless, it's, it's, an, it's an energy you're getting from one that you're not getting from the other. And that's what I feel like people need to understand. It's not necessarily about what a person physically looks like sometimes. Sometimes yeah. it is the fact that because you are not there normal, they pay you a level of attention or you are given a certain energy that you are not used to. So you latch onto the energy as opposed to what the person looks like. And then if that breaks up, you go in search of that energy. It's almost like a drug. Because you, ha- you can't conjure that up within yourself, you now mm-hmm. go in search of this thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because remember, in the ends, for example, we're competing. Say now that there's, there's 5,000 of us. We're all competing. We're all relatively of the same complexion. We might vary in height. We might vary in facial features. But we're all black people from a certain area. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh-huh. When you now pick someone else, to them you're not their norm and they're not your norm. So sometimes it's just that energy that you're feeding off of. The fact that I am not one of five thousand. I am just one. You know what I mean? Yeah. I am just this this thing to you now. Uh, I think I think as well. I think as well. It's a big part of it is environment. And what we're consuming as well, so what you're watching, what you're listening to, like obviously environment. Like if you're around a certain type of woman for ninety percent of your life, then naturally you're just gonna flock to that because it's just the norm, isn't it? Your friends are all flocking to those same type of girls, so you're gonna flock to that type of girl as well. Obviously, what you're consuming, mm. you've seen on the TV stuff, so we touched on the music videos. If ninety percent of the girls in the music videos are light, light skinned or white, and they're the main girls, and they're the girls that the rappers are mainly onto, then subconsciously, we're gonna start thinking, okay, those are the type of girls I'm gonna need to be with. Those are the type of girls I want now. So I think 
a lot of it as well, it comes down to representation, what we're seeing, what's been put out there, what has been highlighted, what's been advertised. And I think that's why as well, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of noise about dark skinned women not being fairly represented in the media. So um, I, was, I was reading something a while ago actually about when it was saying that how, when you look at a lot of the old sitcoms and a lot of the old black movies, the lead role is always a light skinned woman. And then the dark skinned woman's always her sidekick. So they was using examples of like, um, what was the example? They used like Martin, the Martin show, where Gina's the main girl. And mm-hmm. then, um, what's her name? Um, Gina, and what's the other one's name? What's her friend's name? What's um, 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 Pam. Pam. Then you got Pam, the dark skin lady. Had this, and then what they're saying as well, the, 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 the second lady or the dark skin lady, she's always the ghetto one, the loud one, the one that nobody likes, the one that people's always cussing. And I was like, right, it's kind of true. When you look at a lot of them old sitcoms, that's kind of how it was. The dark skin was oh. always the old, the erratic, loud one that... I yeah. mean, look at, Fre- look at Fresh Prince. They replaced Aunt Viv. <laughs> one minute she's there, the next minute she wasn't. <laughs> mm. What, clear, well, clearing her uh, wife and kids, yeah? There you go. Clearing her wife and kids. What happened to the dark skin Claire? She just went. <laughs> um, <laughs> coming to America, Lisa. The sister was the wretched one, yeah? Look at her sister. No one wanted the sister. Everyone wanted Lisa. Mm. You hear me? But I had to take the sister still. So all that, that we grew up on, all those things that we grew up on, subconsciously, we're looking at them and we're thinking, rah, it's always going to go for the light-skinned one. The light-skinned ones are the ones that, they're the badders. They're the badders. They're the ones that man needs. The dark-skinned ones, they're, they're problems, man. They're problems. <laughs> I mean, but nevertheless, it's still a thing where I believe instead of cancelling people, a discussion is needed. A discussion with yeah. level-headed individuals is needed. Yeah. Because you see, that's to, pen- that's to penalise someone for something. Mm. You're, not, you're not getting to the core of why they've done it or why they feel that way or what we can do to even help amend this or, you know, for the future generations. Do you yeah. understand? Uh, so, right now, it's just a bullying thing. And a lot of the tweets as well, going back to the whole to the social media thing, it's from light-skinned women, you know. It's, a lot of it's not even men. It's light-skinned women. It's this light-skinned, dark-skinned woman thing. Mm. Dark-skinned women think light-skinned girls think they're too nice. Yeah. Light-skinned girls think dark-skinned girls make up noise and they, they, that they have the angry black woman stereotype. Yeah. You understand? It's, it's the, the war between them in itself. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's not even nothing to do with us. Because the men, the men, we don't have this war. You know, we do. No, we, we do. We, no, we do. No, I mean, we don't have to. We don't have that war to that extent. Not that, I don't think not in that that same. No, but we do. Nah, we, think light, saying, we grew up saying light skinned guys are soft. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I don't think we was ever to a point where. <laughs> yeah, but it was never. Nah, it was never uh, because he's light skinned. I don't think it ever got to that. <laughs> you get me? We might take. The yeah. Picture, right? No, but what it was, it's weird. We're just not naturally bitchy like that, innit? But. <laughs> You would say, like, if you had your light skin breaded, you might be like, brother, listen, let me get a girl in it. Allow me. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like what we were saying, like I was saying before, innit? Like the light skin brothers didn't really have to put in no work. Like the dark skin guy, we had to put in work. Oh boy, we Bam. had to on point. If you was light skin and hair like genuine, you won. You one error. One. No I error. saw it in school. The light, the, the light skin brothers lighter the man one for the time. But it was never a hatred thing because, as you said, as times revolved now, you know, I think for the man them it was bad. It, it was more banter than it was that serious. For the girls, yeah. it's more of a because girls are more subconscious about their looks and. It was. It was. It was ivory. There was actual a rivalry there, like as in. They didn't see eye to eye. Like, yeah, but do you know what it is? Remember, if we go, if we want to take it deep and we go back to slavery, you're looking at field slaves and how and house slaves, isn't it? Yeah. If yeah. you're light skinned you got treated better because better you up. were technic. You probably came from the master, in it. You're probably his offspring. Yeah. So you got brought in the yard they, and treated a little bit better. So, it it's a psychological thing. But once again, my whole thing is, we've gone now from attacking those who have said something negative to just attacking someone from their for their preference that's where we've jumped to now 
a man could post his girl and someone's bound to say, oh, see, why did she have to be light-skinned? Mm, like, remember, um, I don't know, I don't know if any of you ever saw this. Remember when Shaka Bars and, what's that boxer's name? What's that boxer's name? Yeah, yeah, I remember what you're talking about. Yeah, I remember him. And, and they went back and forth. Mm. And, um, obviously, don't get me wrong, he was out of pocket, he was out of pocket. I, I need to know, I forgot this boxer's name. Obviously, his comments were a bit wild, but Shaka Bars triggered him, triggered him when he wrote, no. get out, and yeah. his comments. He started and I think, out of his mouth about dark skinned women, and that's when it was a rap for him. So, yeah, he, got, he, he was got for that. he got baited into that. Yeah, he got baited into it, you know, because but he went off a previous experience that he had with a black girl, and then he he summed up all black girls into that category. So, uh, and I and I get I get from I get why people like him get onto because of his 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 lack of knowledge or because of the one bad experience you're all black girls the same. Now, mm. us that's growing up in it, I don't know, I'm not going to say he's not growing up in it, us that's growing up in the end, in the end yeah, I think we've had a loads, I mean, experiences with our female race. We could say a whole lot of shit, but we would never do that because we don't judge, we don't judge our race of what experience. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I think sometimes some black men are guilty of that, of that when they, when they say things, I don't like black girls, man, they're too loud. What? For me, so then you don't like him. You don't like your mum. I think it's a copper. I think it's an excuse. I think they generally just don't like how they look. But, 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 then so, but you don't, sometimes it comes. For me, then you don't like your mum. For me, some people don't. Like your mom. Some it's people true. don't. Because remember, some people's mums are loud. Some people's mums are aggressive. Some people's mums are all these things that they're saying. So when they've gone out into the world, they've tried to disassociate themselves from the house they were brought up in. So they're finding someone that's mm-hmm. opposite to their mum. Mm. So that's what yeah. it is sometimes. Some people actually want, because remember, if you've grown up and you've got your mum and your sisters, and in your house, you've seen a certain type of behaviour, mm. when you now head out, you are now going to go against Escape. your house. Yeah. Do you understand? Because that's what you've grown up in. Mm-hmm. So sometimes that's where it is. It's, it's, a, it's a form of rebellion. Like, there's people that grew up saying, if they can't use your comb, don't bring them home. You were told that you what? weren't supposed... If, if they can't use your comb, don't bring them home. So if, if you... Yeah, so if you, for example, <laughs> if you went and got yourself... A white woman was not allowed, like, you were told, like, don't bring no white girl in my house, or mm. da 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 so as a form of rebellion, when you're of age, you're like, fuck this, you can't tell me nothing now. So guess what? I'm going to go get one. Mm. Yeah. And that's sometimes how yeah. it starts. Because our, the generations before us were so ignorant and enforced this ignorance that some people, their rebellion resulted in what their preference now. Yeah. yeah. I, I hear you on that. I hear you on that. that that's facts. Yeah, I think that's, that's, yeah, that's the whole rebellion aspect of it. I think, yeah, is, is 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 definitely a factor. But I feel like a lot of people, like I said, use that excuse of preference. I feel like preference is very loosely used sometimes with certain men. They'll just say like, preference. It's like a it's like a like a little get out of jail free card. Oh, it's just my preference type of thing. You get me? Yeah, like, of course. Of now course. they know subconsciously what they're doing, but oh, it's just a preference. So sometimes when someone does say it's a preference, sometimes I don't want to believe it straight away. I'm just like, you, like I have to proper analyze it. Like someone just saying preference to me doesn't make me think, oh, okay, it's their preference. I don't yeah, it's true. like that. I can only imagine how black women might feel when a guy just says, oh, it's just my preference. They must feel exactly the same way, if not worse, that like, whatever, it's not a preference. There's, there's more to it than that. Yeah, that's true. But I do believe that it, it's come to a point where now how we address the point or how we address this issue needs to change because mm. you cannot go to a set of people who are calling you angry black woman and you can't go to them on the attack and expect it not to have a negative outcome also. Do you understand? If we need to get to a place where we have an understanding and people can see the error of their ways, you mm. cannot attack them for them to see the error of their ways. Because all you're doing is reinforcing whatever messed up things they already have in their head. Mm. You have to, it has to be a discussion. It has to be, there has to be understanding on all sides. 
you have to we as the men have to understand why the women feel this way and as the women you need to start looking into why did the men feel this way I you think, understand i think i personally think it needs to start on a on a like i said on a media level i think that's where it needs to start i think trying to convince men or women that I think it's too definitely too far gone. If if you feel that way, if you don't like black women for whatever reason, cool. Do you type of thing. But I think now we need to look at like media wise and what's been put in front of the children's eyes, even, what's been put in front of the young even, 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 even black even black footballers black fo- black, black, black footballers get crucified for having white girls. Mm-hmm. Again, yeah, no, but that seems that's to be a number, trend though. That is a, number, seems to be a trend. That is a trend. Because you can't name 10 black footballers yeah. <laughs> who have a black wife. It's hard to do. You won't be able to do out it. of all the football teams, out of all the, unless you're going to African football teams or where the, the, the country predominantly black, mm-hmm. you cannot name 10 footballers with 10 black wives. So wow. I understand where that comes from because representation, there if you, you look up to a footballer and you're a child, and that's your footballer, that guy there. You idolize that's, uh-huh. that's what his wife looks like, that's what his house looks like, yeah. that's what his kids look like. So when you now grow up and want to be a footballer, you now aspire to follow that same footstep because you mentally see this white woman as, oh, success. When I'm successful, so then, I must follow mm-hmm. this pattern. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, but then there is representation. But then, so do you think, so do you think there's a, do, do, do we think there's a, there's a problem in the black, Footballing culture in England. I think there's a problem in black culture in black, general. Yeah, I don't think it's football. It's black, definitely, okay. definitely. Because it, I think, regardless of whether it's football, there is a there is a case that once a man gets to a certain point, gets to a certain level, this preference changes all of a sudden. <laughs> you hear me? There's men that have been rocking with black girls, but once they get to a certain point, they don't want to mess with black girls. Mm-hmm. But dumb. then there's a stereotype that comes with white women that they're more submissive. And that they're more, you know, they're they're easier to deal with. So when you get to a certain level, you don't want to have to deal with the same stuff you dealt with when you were grinding. You understand? Yeah. But that's false. All you people have done is put themselves into a realm yeah. where it's it's like it's not better the devil you know anymore, in it. You don't know what you're going to encounter. Oh, no. mm-hmm. The same way as white women will say, oh, "I'm done with black men. I go get a white man." Okay. But you don't know what that means. You don't know what the flip side of that is. Yeah. So he might worship you and treat you like a goddess. And then his football team might lose and he's drank a stellar or two and he might headbutt you. <laughs> like, <laughs> it could be anything. Like, you don't know where that's going. Oh. You don't know what, what the dark side yeah. to that is. You don't know. You don't, nah, you, don't, you, you, don't, don't you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. You don't know what that comes with. This is a whole nother ball game. It's whole different. Yeah, it is. No, it is, it is, it is. And even but, just being able to relate to each other. Like, yeah. How, how, as a black man, how do you relate to a white woman? Are, are, we, are, we, are, we, are we going off the, are we going off the, um, Umar? You must answer. No, 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 no. But no. culturally, I agree with Jay. How, how do you uh, what do you even talk about? What do you talk about? No, 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 no. hold on. <laughs> whoa, whoa, you're saying it like I disagree. I'm just saying, are we going off Umar's comment? Oh, well. I'm just asking the question. I'll be honest with you. I've always been very, like, I'll be me honest. There's a level of prejudice here. <laughs> <laughs> it's in, in me, yeah. Brother, listen. There's no, don't get me because there's 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 white people that grew up around us, oh, in it. Yeah. So they've developed a lot of characteristics. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Should I say mannerisms mm-hmm. that are very uh, like familiar to us? Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. So they might. Well, you're gonna speak the same if you grew up together. Is what it is, isn't it? But then yeah. the way they cook now they've they want to know because yeah, you're yeah. their bread so that mm. even certain products they use in their I remember going to school and white girls were using dax in their hair and it was like slip down in the little yeah, yeah it's mad <laughs> yeah you understand all the, the, the yeah the, the sideburns yeah, yeah, was yeah. wavy and that it was mad mm-hmm. so 
I personally feel like it goes back to our conversation a couple episodes ago when we were saying like the cultural imbalance in a family. Mm. Yeah. I believe genuinely that it would cause a problem. Like, even if you say we grew up in the same end so we can speak and we had similar experiences growing up, culturally, culturally we are house to hold, we're too different. No. Because I grew up and, for example, the white people that I knew had dogs and kissed their dogs and slept in beds with their dogs and stuff like that. That's, that's what I grew up to know. You hey, yo. A lot of black people do that now, though, as well, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think you're growing up, though, isn't it? You're growing up, hey, yo, they didn't, didn't watch their... No, no, no. It, it, growing up, it was a stereotype put out there, isn't it? No, 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 no. I saw did. it. No, I saw it. I saw it. No, I saw it for myself, innit? Who, 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 who on our estate did that, bro? I, no, no, we're in the state. I had the bridge around the corner. His dog, <laughs> like, I saw his dog kiss on the sofa and his mum just hit it with the Febreze, you know, like that. The dog pissed on the sofa. His mum was like, ah, oh, it's just the Febreze, and it was done. <laughs> I was rattled. We grew up knowing white kids told their mum to shut up, and mum, I hate you, and all What? Madness. <laughs> Madness. <laughs> like, no seasoning weren't guanin on the food. Like, Madness rattled, rattled. What's going on here? So what I'm trying to say to you is, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now we've grown up. I can't fathom that myself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I can't fathom being at work all day and coming home to tomato soup and bread. Like my brain. <laughs> but... <laughs> see, what, see what you're saying there. Yeah? See what? Wait, hold on. We see what you're saying there. Yeah? Like, yeah. So when we look at someone like Steve or the Madman, he's made that that cultural imbalance humorous stuff. No, but this is the thing, and that's the problem. That's the thing. No, yeah, no. The problem with Steve is, and that's why. Do you look, um see what are they called? The Cabs family. Yes. Yeah. Like, they got the little girls that sing and yes. dance. Yeah. Cool. Until they came along, what fully black family was pushed in our face like that? Yeah. Was you, had man, never, you had man that had their kids. I've never seen that. You had man that have their kids. You have women that have their kids. You have interracial couples. Because even if you look at adverts, mm-hmm. you have an interracial couple. Yeah, you yeah. see a light-skinned child, a black mum, a white dad. That mm-hmm. is what you see. Mm-hmm. Until the mm-hmm. Cabs family came along, yeah? And they are so innocent and humorous and everything. When did we see a black family together doing something positive because remember the representations we get of even black mums if you even want to look at like american ones you see the videos of the mums twerking and the babies in the room and all of these other antics you understand what i'm saying or them fighting in the street but apart from steve who has spent the majority of his time cussing how his wife cooks bearing in mind he's got like four or five kids with her but all he does is insult her what other representation do we have this is it we, we don't and even with the cabs i don't feel like they're even put in our faces as much as they should be but the thing is that's why i went and followed them do you understand mm. what i'm saying because you see when you see it was the older daughter you first started seeing singing the songs in the car yes there is nothing cool. disrespectful yeah. they are they're not there's no swearing there is nothing it's uh-huh. all very innocent yeah. the way they behave we would uh-huh. gladly let our but children then, behave any day but then put it but then with, with, with the steve or the madman thing are you are we are we looking at as he's now showing us like living an interracial lifestyle is not so bad? No, no, because he all he does is complain about it if you really want to be honest about it. All he does is mock his wife for what she doesn't do. That's mm-hmm. for what she does that's not black enough for him. You understand? That's mm-hmm. all he does is complain about that. To be fair, so, I think the whole Steve O thing is, is scripted anyway. It doesn't come across natural to but me. feel like they get together as a family have a meeting and I'm like right guys this is what we're going to do today like that's how it comes across to me it doesn't even come across natural as in as he's trying to promote that like, yeah it's meant to, it just seems all scripted like they actually purposely do things but this is where it is so i just feel like the whole interracial thing me personally i i'm not saying it couldn't work because that's that's a stupid thing to say I just believe it mm. throws up a lot more hurdles just culturally yeah. within a household. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand? It throws up a hell of a lot more, even in regards to there's a certain level of discipline that 
a lot of us were raised with that we knew our white peers didn't have. Mm. You understand? So there was things that they could get away with that we couldn't. Yeah. There were things that they did that we didn't do and ate that we didn't eat. So it, you could call it lazy because it can work, but it's just easier to do to stick with what you know, if that makes sense. That mm. might sound mad prejudice and that. But it is. It's easier no, to stick with what you know. I, I get what you're trying to say. Um, yeah, I, I, I get what you're trying to say. You might get crucified for the how you said it, but we, I understand. Um, I mean, I ain't nobody care, gonna do cancel me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Going back to the yeah. whole like, um, the actual colorism aspect of it, mm. like obviously not for yourself, but just say black men as a whole. What would you say is their beauty standard looking at a woman? Long hair, big but It's an Instagram model right now. Yeah. If you look like an Instagram model, hair. big breasts, big bum, big, breast, big, big legs, bum. flat stomach, skin long tone, hair. Skin tone, what skin tone are we saying? We're, caramel. we're looking caramel to the lighter tones. To the lighter tones. Yeah. So and anyone that is racially ambiguous. Yes. They could be, they could be this, they could be that. Yeah. Everybody racially yeah. ambiguous, that yeah. is what yeah. man is on right now. Yes. Yeah. So and that in itself is basically the issue there. That we can actually, we know that that is what black men look at and think that is beautiful. That would be their pick. Yeah. But it came from a level of ignorance from a long time ago. Because I remember mm. even myself, and I'll put my hand up to this, I remember saying dumb stuff like, later, I'll never have a baby with a, with a black girl because I want a light skin girl because her hair is pretty, pretty, and I want my child to have to look that way the, and the magic. Pretty, pretty eyes. Uh, uh, yeah, we went, we, went, we, went for that, we went for that, we went for that, 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 that phase in the era, you yeah. know, where man, so man, I, only, I, man I myself only wanted to date have said that. Yeah. No, yeah, I myself yeah, I, I've have said, said that. that. I'm, 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 I, I'm, I'm not even going to be an arsehole. I've said that from man. I'm not even going to say people in my family, but Jem, Jem, been in my house and he's had, <laughs> and he's, he's had that being said. You know, you've heard that being said, and it, you know, it does come from a level of ignorance. But you know, I said, like I said, we're not that same person that we was them no. 10, 15 oh, years ago. We're of not. We've not. grown. We've under, well, we I understand, understand where it came from. I understand yeah, I, where it I came understand from. where it came from. It came from what we saw on TV, majority of it. It came from what we was exposed to. It came from things that I think about it like this right here. We we go to school and everyone, all the men them are talking about lighties. We come home, we switch on the TV. Like you said, you watch a Martin, Gina is the main lead role, my wife and kids at the time, or you know, fresh prints they've changed, aren't bib to the light skin, aren't bib, you know, you're seeing all that stuff. And then, like in your head, it's like, "Yo, I want a girl that looks like that." Then you look at the music. You're looking at the music song. You're just saying, like, "Yo, you're looking at little Kim that, yo, she's transformed into this, yo, all blood, some light skin." Yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah. And the worst thing is, then, you know, little Kim was bad. Like that's bro, little bad. Kim. Can you imagine being that she, bad. You and see, not even not not not, not, not even little Kim. I used to love Foxy Brown. But Foxy, but well, this is the thing. All right, but, but yeah, this is the thing now. They weren't enough foxies. That well, was that's the thing. What it is. And we, because of all these women, especially the women that you, you all named, they've shifted more towards a light skin, yeah. skin tone now. Hmm. And a lot of women, even if they are still dark, you'll see certain pictures and you'll have to stop and look and think. Lighten it up a bit, yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying yeah. to say to you? So because of all of these shifts in what's going on as well, where hmm. people uh -huh. are making themselves lighter whether it be photoshop and whatever and then the lighter women who are not even black have now adopted all the black attributes so they've gone and got the bum they've gone uh, and got the lips yeah. they've gone and got these things and attached it to the so, light skin so now so, it's so, like so they're fitting I'm they're, 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 ta I'm they're taking the they're taking the they're taking the characteristics there they're forming themselves to the exactly. So now it's they're evolving. It's they're evolving into so the, like, they're evolving to the black, they're evolving to the black woman features that like the Kardashians did. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. This, this is, is what white women are doing. White men have clocked on now for okay. Let me tan a little bit. Let me get a bit of a bum. Let me just tan a little bit. Because you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't actually see a normal looking. You don't actually see a normal looking white girl now. They all tanned. You know. Yeah. But this is this is yeah. where it is. But we now, 
Because, remember, if we're in a land where white people are the majority, yeah? And then they have now adopted the characteristics that were only attributed to black people, it's almost like a lot of black men are going to see like they've got the best of both worlds. Mm-hmm. Just like I don't get the noise that comes with the black woman. I don't get the angry I get, black woman. I get, I get the body and the looks. And I get a, I, a, part, I get a piece of the looks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because remember, they still got their same... So it's like I get a straight nose. Yeah. With oh, big, big tits and a big bum. And a <laughs> yeah. With hips. And it's like <laughs> hips and a back off. But then... Uh, oh, but then they'll be like... But then she doesn't have weave either because she... she She's got her own thing, so it's like... Oh, oh she wears extensions, man. Fuck no, no, that, man. Say, they, do, well. they do, but what oh. I'm trying to say, this is how it started. You know, yeah. like, it's yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, got, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, you yes, got, yes, yes. So you've got the black girl, so you've got black girl who's got all of these things, but mm. she's got the weave and she's loud and yada, yada, yada. But then I've got her next to you, but she's got all the same body features, but without the weave and she's quiet. Hey, listen, man. That's weird. That's like it messes with the head, fam. The man there. After this, I'm going to play my Tyree song, I Need a Ghetto Girl. They were spam, man. That, 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 that's, my, that's what I be playing. Tyree, I Need a Ghetto Girl. That's, that's, that's the type of music I be yeah, but, bro, but when you look at it, the world is so corrupt that, or corrupted, should I say, that I believe by the time our children are old enough to have kids, the world will be and this is not to offend anyone, but fuck it, innit? Like, yellow. Yeah. There will be no one that you can tell. Who's yeah, who. they've, they, they've <laughs> said, they said, by, they, they said there's a, the, by a particular time, a particular time in the world, we're going to have less kids looking like us, but looking more mixed with the brown hair and the, 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 the green eyes. Every, and because everyone's mixing, you're going to have kids that you never thought would mix. So you'll say to someone, oh, where are you from? Oh, my dad's Jamaican and my mum's Somali. What? You never in your mind would have put those people together yeah. before when we was growing up. Do you understand? So the world is so intertwined you look, even... that that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, because but well, it started already. Because look at look at look at look at our kids, for instance. Like their background is mad. Mine. Well, yeah, mine. Now do you know what it is? To, yeah, but mine like because so mine is what. Thing. Mine is Ghanaian St. Lucian and a bit of Indian, so who knows what she might have when she grows up. Her child could come out looking like me. I, or, I remember you got throwback yeah. children, so they don't yeah. even look like the parent, they look like grandparents and yeah. it's this all fair though, like obviously with the colorism, they may they may we might be mixing differently, but overall the complexions, the tones are still gonna be there. So yeah. obviously, with, you know, with, with, with your daughter, Indian solution, yeah, you've mixed with something that's different, but her complexion is still one of... A black person, yeah. You, see, you... Black, do you understand? So mm-hmm. like, even though there are going to be mixes, like you said, a Jamaican with a Somalian, yeah, it's a different mix, but the complexion of that child all right. is still going to be... But that's the thing, but it's about teaching the child also that just because their complexion might be lighter, that they're still black. They're still black. black. Yeah. Like, for example, two of my children, their mum is mixed race, like literally, like black, uh, black mum, white dad, yeah. right? So my children, if you look at them, they look directly mixed race themselves. Mm. Yeah. That's what they look like. Mm. Now, so I've even heard my kids being like, oh, well, like talking about their skin tones between them. Mm. Like, you're, you're a different colour to me. And I had to let them know, hold on, you're all black, sharp. I don't want to hear nothing about skin tones. I don't want to hear nothing about none of that, sharp. Yeah. You're all black. You're all my children. What color am I? That's it. End of discussion. Yeah. Because it's not only about the skin tone. It's about what people identify as within themselves. Yeah. Uh, Do you understand? So you could, because remember, there's people, there's parts of Jamaica where the people are just lighter. Saint Elizabeth and them kind of things. Like the people are just lighter of complexion from that place. It doesn't does it, make them any it's, less it's, black. But it's like it's like it's like it's like my, my mom and my dad. If, if you see my mom, my mom's flipping near enough light skin, and my dad is 
dark, but you, you know, it became my old dark like my dad, didn't it? You know, but then you see my mum and you think, raw like what happened here? But we've all got the black features, so you know, it's 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 it's, it's a mad one, man. But. Uh, it's, think, it's about representation as Jay keeps on saying it. it's about representation yeah. and it's about what we identify as because you're forgetting a lot of people instead of just saying oh I'm black for example and leaving it there they want to be like yeah but my grandma's Indian and well, my great granny's Chinese well, and yeah. it's, you're trying you're trying to attribute mm. your beauty mm. to something to other your, than your... black yeah. you understand mm. so yeah. it's like instead of saying no I'm black because in fact you are. Your mum's black, your dad's black. You're drawing for grandparents and great-grandparents mm. to justify why you look a certain way. Mm. Well, my, like, my, granddad that, was, my, my granddad was born in Somalia, but you know, my mum and dad raised is. in Ghana. <laughs> so they, they refuse to attribute the beauty that they seemingly have. Mm. Now, they just want, they always want to deflect it onto something else. Onto from another, way back, onto well, another thing. Black, yeah, black, yeah, yeah. Like it, it sounds cool. Doesn't born beauty and that's that's what we've been taught yeah. we're saying the beauty standard like we said the beauty standard is something like you said ambiguous in the middle it's yeah. mixed with this and that so in our in our mind subconsciously we never want to attribute that okay i'm beautiful because i'm just black not because my yeah. grandma or my great granny was half this or it's because i'm black and i'm just beautiful and it's just as simple as that and that's the yeah that's where it is like and remember in even in history all things that are black are negative you mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? Black cats, negative. The crow, negative. You understand? Like Black Friday sales. They all they all got very negative connotations. And it was all purposely mm. done. It was purposely done that way for us to just attribute anything black being mm. negative, being bad, being ugly. It was purposely you associate, you, you associate you associate black clothing with death. Everything is purposely been done that way. Purposely. Black magic, yeah. all of that. It's all <laughs> purposely black. But that's where it is. Black to make it seem negative. But that's, that's where it is. That's so true. I just feel like with the colorism topic, as everyone needs to be held accountable mm. to why things are in the place they are today. Oh, you no, we're, we're, all, we're, we're all guilty of men, it, man. All, men need to be all... held accountable because of what we may have said that mm-hmm. had, yeah. had an adverse effect on women. But mm-hmm. also, uh-huh. women need to understand the fact of there's a lot about yourselves that you're not embracing. There's a lot of your authentic blackness that you're not embracing. Mm-hmm. So therefore, uh-huh. if you are not loving it, we cannot. Also, you understand? Um, what's the woman that was in um, uh, the one that was in Us and Black Panther? Lupita. Ah. Yeah, beautiful. Have yeah. you seen her skin, fam? Flawless, Blood. flawless, Blood. Uh-huh. beautiful, cuz flawless. Like mm. stuff like that. I think, but don't get me wrong. I genuinely do think this comes with maturity, though. That yeah, I can does. look it at. Does. I can look at a woman no, like that and be it, like, it, 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 no, it does come with maturity because it, you have to get to a, a certain level to understand how beautiful the skin is. I think if we was like but, fifteen or sixteen, our our would be like, she blick, man. But no, no, as but you get education. older, you we it were, is edu- we were education. Were and, and you, you, that's the thing. And yeah, like, yeah. As you get older, we we read, we learn, we just start to appreciate ourselves. We see the world for what it is as well. Yeah, and we, we do. Realize that raw, like I'm hating myself, I'm hating my women because of what? Because of what? Now nah, we do. Like that Malcolm, who taught you? Who taught you all of that? Who taught you to hate yourself? The thing is, it's, it's our influences. Because it's remember, even if when you was young and you went and got a girlfriend that was the same complexion as you, one of your brethrens would have said something to make you feel some type of way. Mm. Somebody would have said something like, rah, why you go for her? It, you understand it, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't so, the thing. It wasn't even the if thing. you embraced it within yourself, you were still ridiculed by somebody. Yeah. It, no, it, it wasn't fashionable. It wasn't the, and it's like I made a comment on I can't remember what post it was a while ago about like this whole thing with women liking dark skin men all of a sudden. For me, I feel like it's just a fashion thing right now. It's just a fashion. It's a trend. Thing. It's, like it's a trend. Women. It's a trend because we, we, we was never. We was never. We'll come back in again. Yeah, but Jay, you're yeah, winning yeah, right was, now, though. 
Yeah, we're oh, winning right now. It's gonna all come. Never... Crumble. I'm just great. I'm just grateful yeah. that I've lived to see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it, it is a trend because once upon a time we was never we was never looked upon. We was never like you know the, the kettle in the fish fam. We was never liked, man. Now all of a sudden, obviously, I want it to stay as it is, but you know, stay down. Yeah, but, but you know what if. Everything is, 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 is now developed. I remember there was a stage where if you had a beard, you were scruffy. Yep. You were messy. Now, if you don't that? have a beard, y'all are like, oh, what's wrong with your beard? Like, <laughs> why does it not connect? Like, like you're blood. winning if you've got a beard. Blood, you see right now, yeah? Real talk. You see, because I can't grow a moustache. This is not style. <laughs> I can't grow it, innit? Yeah? So, <laughs> Yeah? Look, it grows to here and just does a madness and then grows back here again. Mad. Uh, my, beard ain't, my, my beard ain't complete, cuz. My beard is not complete. So right now, I'm still not as styling as Jay. Because Jay's got the mad healthy thing. You know. So, but and then there's going to be a stage where this is no longer in fashion and we're all going to have to shave but you, and go back. You know the thing is? It's all good when the beard does because you can shave it off. But once the dark skin thing is no longer in fashion, man can't but, do nothing about that. Listen, you can't hold out the boards. <laughs> you know what's mad though? Nothing looks better. You see, like when you go on holiday and you get that 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 dark from the sun. Glow. You know that glow. Yeah. 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 That, that there. Mm. That golden. That there, golden. See, but that melanin top up is mad. Yeah. That sun kiss is, is, is a massive, massive, massive. It's crazy. We just got to learn to embrace it, brother. That's, like, that's where it is. Like, there's a lot of women that we don't glorify on the same level. Like, yeah. I'll give you an example. In, like, like, our media, for example, people look at Maya Jama and be like, raw Maya Jama, X, Y, and Z. Do you understand what I'm saying? And regardless um, of what, and then on the flip side, regardless of how irritating she may or may not be to some people, people don't pre the level that ZZ Mills it's actually very nice. Beautiful. Like, you understand what I'm trying to say? So we'll glorify one, mm. but won't glorify the other. Mm-hmm. And it's like, take away the fact that she may speak in a way that you don't like or whatever the case may be. You cannot remove what she looks like. You understand what I'm saying? I'll take that away from her at all. 100. But that's, and that's just, that's just one example to say, like, she's not hailed. When you're talking about if you put like beautiful women in the UK or something, she's not somebody that they would throw up. They would throw up. Yeah, yeah, true. There'll be a couple of people we, shouting for her, but the masses won't. Mm-hmm. And you know what it is? It's like it's not even that they don't believe that she is. They more go based upon the character that she portrays. <laughs> they, 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 but they, they fit that stereotype, the loud black, the loud black girl. I don't think she does. I don't. I don't. think She's. Black. She I don't. don't. She is. She, she's she not don't. loud. She just speaks to her mind. She has she an just opinion. Speaks to her mind. She's true. She's chill about it. Yeah, she has an opinion. That's you know what it is. Irritating or not, you cannot remove what someone looks like. The same way no. as did or not, man is still dark skin or whatever the case may be. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. these are all silly external factors. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We, we do have to, we do need to start championing a lot more diverse forms of women. And this is just in, not just to do with colorism. You understand? I mean, body types. <clears throat> we glorify the fake body so much that there's been this mad influx of trips to Turkey. Mm-hmm. No, you true. understand? But then, but then, but then, but then, but then, when we say we glorify, yes, men are as much guilty as it is well, but women are more guilty because these women have, you know, they idolize the Kardashians. They've seen the transformations of the Kardashians. They go to the States and they see the transformation of women on the States. These IG models and all of these think, other girls. So, I think we, you know... Why they do, though. I think we play a part as men as to why they do idolize We do. Them. We do. I, I, mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. We do. I'm, I'm guilty of it. You're, obviously, it took away the likes. But before, I used to get crucified for the, the stuff I used to like on um, Instagram. Do you know what I mean? But and that's just me just randomly strolling through my phone just because I'm We're like, going like, to. Like, like, like. The thing is, the Kardashians wouldn't be who they are or they wouldn't be in the position they're in if we as as us didn't feed into that into it, image, yeah. into that body well, image. We do. We, we said, do. We, yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm trying to say. If we said they were horrible and we said, oh, we don't like that, right, and we actually meant that, women wouldn't then uh-huh. go for it. But because we have now gravitated towards them and that seems profitable, 
uh-huh. that's what we're now going to go to. Do you understand? Yeah. That's 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 what it's women just... are now going to do because they're like, well, if this is what the men like, I'm going to then. That's how I need to be. You know what I mean? And uh, so you know what? They, that they do things and look the way they want to look because that's what they want to do. But I feel like. You know, there is an element in there that you want to be accepted from men as well. You want to be desired from men. What woman does not want to be desired by a man? But it's the same reason we do a lot of things. There's a lot of us that will be... We, a lot of us, we could grow beards from a long time, but yeah. we chose not to. Why? Because it wasn't the way... You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, we're tapping into, we're tapping into the insecurities level right about now. I think it's a whole different, different... Uh, yeah, but bro, it's all part of it. So the whole colour is part of it. Part of it, yeah, it is. I think. Yeah, it, it is. It is. It is. It, it is, is. is. It comes down to what you're saying. It is. Us as men, what we can do is, we need to be, like you said, a bit more diverse. And, like you said, we need to stop. You know, not just to say that we need to just embrace dark skin women, but I think we need to just embrace and love black women as a whole. But I told you, I'm the fluffy connoisseur. I am glad, and I put it out there. Yeah, come to me with regardless of your size. Come, <laughs> come <laughs> forth. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you say fluffy, you could be a you could be a you, you could be talking about all types of skin tone when you say fluffy. So, what are you saying? I'm not gonna discriminate, but yeah, don't discriminate. My preference is, is, is a black fluffy, regardless of what shade that comes from, black. you know. <laughs> but I don't, I don't care what shade you are. You get me? Because you, you might have a mix of something else, but you're still black. You get me? That's it. Come we, say, we, say, we say if it ain't fluffy, it ain't right, yeah? Bud, no fupa. No what? See? Why are you here? See, what, about the sli- what, about, what, what about the slim girls? What about the slim girls? What about the slim girls? It's my preference. It's in my preference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? It's my preference. Now, do so, you yes, know what it is? Every, love, love everyone's got to live their truth. Yeah. Now, everyone's yeah. got to love their, themselves, you understand, and live in their individual mm. truth. Mm. And that's where it is. Yeah. No, people are so fickled. And that's where it is. Like, one minute it's big lips, then it's big bums, then it's, then it's flat stomachs, then it's mm-hmm. long hair, then it's short hair. Because remember, there was a stage where every woman with short hair was going in when you had the Nia ah. Longs and the Halle Berries. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was a short hair thing. If you didn't have the short style, you weren't really warning. Yeah, it's true. It's and now trend. it's... It's all trend. trend. And that's what it is. Eventually, this big bum thing is going to be a madness. You see, when people's batteries start sinking and leaking <laughs> out and all of this stuff, and people start... <laughs> start want it no more. They're going to want this just the slim the cool. Yeah, just give me the normal. Or like, you're going to want the girl that... Give me the cellulite. Give me all of this thing. And I know it's real. Give me that. You see me, as much as if you went through my Insta, you'd see me double tap, double tap, yes. Because that's what's put out there. But you see me personally. Give me your stretch Give me the cellulite any day. Give me the cellulite. Give, give, me, give me the body where one batty cheek is a bit bigger than the other. And one <laughs> breast is... Lo- like, give me it all. I'm good with that. Because yeah, I understand that's I preach, how you were preach. born. You understand? I'm preach, my brother. Preach, give, preach. Give me the black preach. girl where... Like, let's be fair. Give me the girl when you take off her clothes. You're all four or five different shades. You, that's uh, that's the truth. That's uh, your uh, truth. AJ, AJ, I'm gonna say like Charlemagne said to Doctor Umar. I try not to catch you no way, girl. Don't let me catch you no way. Listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> listen. <laughs> You ain't gonna catch me <laughs> doing shit, yeah? <laughs> Come to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh but my God. I feel like uh, more of these conversations need to be had in it. Yeah. Because a lot of them need to yeah. come from a male's perspective as well. I think a lot of women yeah. are vocal on this subject, rightly so, but I think a lot of men need to start speaking up about it as well. To let the women know that we're aware of it, that we know that colorism's a thing and that we know that there's certain things happening and we know that women of certain shades are not being represented well in the media. So I think a lot of the men need to start speaking about it as well. Of course we do. And I feel like there will be a change, but it comes down to education as well. Because if we can educate our children as well, especially when you've got sons, if you can encourage your sons and let them know that 
black is beautiful regardless of skin tone. You understand? Regardless mm. of hair texture or hair length or whatever mm. the case may be. If you can educate them to find beauty in themselves, then the minute they see themselves in somebody else, they will latch mm. onto that. Nah, you're right, still. You got right, hella wind in your background, friends. Yeah, hella wind. Hold on, let me get back in the car. Hold on, hold on. Hold on let me get back in the car. I don't know what this guy is doing. Man's on Sorry. Station. Driving <laughs> but, around, jumping. But, you, you, know, you know my days are always active, man, so... But it's it's, mad. it's mad. Quite now, active. Man. Yeah, exactly. Social distancing. You should be in your house. It, it, it is social distancing, but I'm always active, in it? You know? <laughs> You know where Prince sounds like a certified drug dealer? Like, I'm always <laughs> active, innit? It's social distancing, but... It's social distancing, I'm social yeah. Distancing. I'm just... I'm just... Please, people just looking around and comments and say, yeah, I'm social distancing, yeah. Do you know what, yeah? Don't get real, <laughs> man. I, man. You know, any slight movement... When I'm in my car, any slight movement, I'm just like... But, but hold on. Like, like, outside, outside is warm, though. Why are you in, in all black dressed like that, fam? What are you up to? I wear wait hold on, hold on hold on let's not get I wear all black all the time so let's not get yeah yeah but you're wearing all a jacket you're wearing every, man, it's warm you know I got a body it's a body warm my, my tracksuit mm. a tracksuit and a body warmer like it's winter you're up to Fuck. something and you're I did you hold on Jay did you clock how we drove around the corner in silence like you never said that you just you didn't moved even, off I, I around the corner I swear you on I swear you put your seat on man we'll just you did I did you did he did clicked you? it on uh-huh. and then just pulled off on a low one. I kept on looking down at the phone. <laughs> but he's up to something. He's up to something. <laughs> First oh, of all, I am not risking... I'm not getting no quarantine nothing because I am celibate. Yeah. Secondly, no yeah, that, I am just... I'm just around the corner from my house collecting something. Really? I'm going back wait, home. Wait, wait, wait. I said drugs. You bought in Fanj. No, so, because so, before someone says I'm I'm out here trying to get set, uh, quarantine nunny fam. None of that, nice man. To, it's too early for that. It's still bright outside. We'll wait for you to do yeah, it night time. It's, it's too early. It's too early. I know. Well, I'm, at night time, I'll be in my house with my daughter watching TV fam, bro. What the hell? Mm-hmm. You get them, strong, them strong alibis. See, I said it on the podcast. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen back to it. <laughs> 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 oh man! <laughs> but freaking out, Brad. This colorism thing is is such a big issue. But I still don't believe that bringing up people's tweets from a decade ago is serving any purpose. If anything, you're isolating people, and you're not having a conversation. You're attacking. Uh-huh. Like, Look, and we have to we have to understand is that these people are not the same people that they were ten years ago. If they are oh. the same, if they have the same mindset that they had ten years ago, then yes, you know, by all means them for what they're saying but if you can significantly see that this person has changed their mindset has changed they're not as they're not they're not that ignorant person they were 10 years ago or whatever we don't need this this council culture thing i'm not i'm not here for it you know i think the, Damn, whole, man. the whole council culture i think it comes from a place of you know um the average joes wanting to take down you know the, the influences the celebrities because they're not digging up tweets of tom next door they're not digging up tweets of their workmate, you know. They're digging up tweets of people that are known and are in a in a spotlight because they want to drag them down. And that's bad. And you know, I used to what? say some wrecking you know, shit back in the day. Yeah. And you know what? And you know what? Furthermore, yeah, you have to be a bored person to go and dig up someone's tweets from 10 years ago because they probably licked off about five more, 15,000, 20,000 tweets and you're digging to find out what they wrote 10 years ago. You're bored, man. I'm, I'm sorry, man. That's boring, man. Yeah, man. But what, what I every, said everyone can get it, though. Everyone huh? can get it. Because I guarantee, if, if we all had Twitter back then, because my Twitter's still about, but uh, I said Twitter's some reckless about. shit. Mm. I said some of the most... Because uh, it was literally, who can say the most reckless thing? thing to trend, yeah. To try and get and a get retweet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. It was almost like a game. Mm. Who can say the most outlandish shit possible? So, yes, it was ignorant. Yes, it was stupid. Would I do it today? No, I have a lot better things to do. And I don't feel the same way. Half of the shit we said back then, we didn't feel like that then. It was just the in thing to say. Yeah. We yeah, didn't think of the tough. effects. So if, if I was now on BBC now, how would I have foreseen that in 2010? You understand what I'm saying? How would I have known that this was who I was going to become? 
back then. So I, I couldn't have planned for this. What I would advise anybody who's an influencer and who was on some reckless shit back in the day, just go for your Twitter and just, you know, cleanse it. Delete your, pay, pay your best friend Yeah. to go through all your tweets and delete them. Yeah, yeah that's it. But bond that, but keep them. Hey, keep Jim. Them the the hey, Jim. Whoa. Hey, Jim. If you pay me 20 pounds, I'll go on your, I'll, I'll delete all your tweets from, bro. 20 pounds an hour, I, I, No, no, no. I want them there. Leave them. <laughs> you want them? Leave them. Them. Leave them. Because this is the thing. Right, Regardless right, of what happens, right, you right. can't come to me and no one can't come to me and say, oh, you said what in 2010? I'd be like, brother, shut the fuck up. 2010? Um, Jay? Like, um, Jay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to coach him through that session there. You know the ones there? <laughs> I agree with me. Be like... Leave it there. Please don't cancel me. You understand? Leave it where it is. I said what I said when I said it. Now, do I feel that way? No. Am I going to um, apologize I'm, for writing it? No. Uh, do I'm, I apologize I'm that you're hurt? No, nah, but I apologize that you're hurt because my intention is I'm not uh, someone who's spiteful or has any malice. So I wasn't out here trying to hurt anyone's feelings. You understand? So if you're hurt by something I said, I would apologize for you being hurt. I'm not apologizing for the tweets being there because guess what no one ever told you to go back there and look for them <laughs> that's on you <laughs> can i can i can i say something then i'm happy that you laughed when i said i'll celebrate can you apologize for that no <laughs> <laughs> no and that was I, episode that, nine that, that was that episode is nine Jay, that, that shit is funny. nine Prems, Cele- celebrate that. hella funny hella why funny. not <laughs> okay mad funny and that was episode that's episode <laughs> nine, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I am looking out. How you trying to end the episode on us? Man is punishing my character and not accepting me for who I am. So, yes. Episode nine. <laughs> yeah. No cancel podcast. It's a wrap. Obviously, guys, remember, check us out on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Podcasts. And YouTube. And YouTube as well. And YouTube. Um, share. Like, subscribe. Thank you for the subscribe. support feedback that we get. Um, and yeah, man, any inquiries or anything, just holler at us by the Instagram. So yeah, episode. Yeah, nine. man. To me, guys. Peace. Best luck, man. Love, guys. Bless. Late fam. Oh. Man, no, leave it in there. Oh, to license it.